Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the Do what you got to do, make it last. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 891 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on all the social medias whatever they may be called these days. And this is the year-end Christmas episode of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is not the last episode because we will be uh, recording this week the Festivus, the STD Festivus special. Yes, it's got a new name and some new goals. So bring your grievances, (laughs) bring your feats of strength. But anyways, we got a whole bunch of people in our Zoom uh, this this week uh, from all over the time zone. Uh, first of all, from Riz Plays Games, the Riz. Happy holidays, Sorg. Hey, what does that say in the background? Oh, is festive as fuck. As fuck. Well, there goes our monetization. <laughs> I mean, like we get paid for this, Sorg. I already got a community guideline violation from TikTok. I think it's from uh, the show in the video of Mikey's head bleeding from that one match. So, oh. or it could be the backyard <laughs> wrestling. Who knows? It was a really wild week last week. Also with us, oh geez, who else is in here? Um, do 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 do. Oh, Ronnie Starks, the man who's held every position in professional wrestling except ownership, is with us. Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas. I got the Yule Log playing in the background here. Oh, there it is. Wait, that looks like somebody's side. Is somebody, what, what is happening there? Happening. What's he doing? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just somebody in a uh, okay. shirt. And then I got Universal's Earl the Squirrel. <laughs> he is he is the mascot for Christmas time. Wonderful. And also, I have this derpy looking son of a gun <laughs> as well. Hey, it's a Bucky. It's a Santa Bucky. Santa Bucky. I yes. love Santa it. Bucky. I love it. Santa Bucky's. Fantastic. So, so we are all ready to go for Christmas. Excellent. Here. Oh, and I have a Christmas sweater on too. You do. Wow. You 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 got all you got all of the the tees oh, crossed. The Christmas. I'm all about it. You got all the Christmas X's crossed here, huh? <laughs> I'm all about it. Uh. So and also with us, he is the Prof Pod of the iPhone Opry Podcast. Why not? Let's give you a plug on here. I know. I don't, I never do because it's like kind of off brand. But Potter's with a us. little. It's a little off brand. Have... Hey, oh my work. God! What is he wearing? Hey, I'm pimping out for Christmas. Yeah, he is. Holy crap! Oh wow! What well, you, you disappeared into your tree too? <laughs> that was that was impressive. That was really impressive. Hey, zoom in eight easy. <laughs> no, it isn't. It really isn't. Um, okay. And also, we'll return the show. One of the OGs, one of the original Mayhemers, DJ Lunchbox, has joined the chat. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's just Will. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, What's man. happening? Oh, are we saying fuck on the show? Are we still saying fuck on Did the show? Did you see the... Riz's background? Oh, do you see this? What? Do you see this right now? What the right fuck there. is up, my guys? What's happening? Since we have little mascots, I've got this little guy, little, my little Christmas opossum friend, uh, who the camera doesn't like. Happy holidays to all those who celebrate. And if you don't, I hope you get some delicious Chinese food. Mm-hmm. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey, you are missed. And, and, and if you're on, on audio, there's a wonderful creative character uh, 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 flanking you there. I like that. I like that's right. that. It's just Will. That's right. That's it's just, just Will. That's just Will. That's just Will. Dude, that's just Will. Generally, blue cardigan, green shirt, that's me all the time. Now. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's it. Yep. I love it. Uh, uh, live from, uh, I don't know, what neck of the woods are you in these days? Um, Columbus, Ohio, but uh, I am actually in Cranberry, Pennsylvania currently. Oh, you're closer than I expected. <laughs> So. That's right. Yeah, Excellent. I'm I'm doing I'm doing the 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 north to south okay trip okay uh, visiting you, you, visiting just, folk. Just, a, just you're doing the slash you're doing the slash That's right. trip. That's I'm a- doing I'm doing the slash ending ending in good old Green County uh, to see my folks for Christmas. Fantastic, fantastic. You know I felt left out, so I, I do have some mascots here. I got an Optimus Prime, and then I also have a uh, you know thanks to Chachi a Rockzilla 
There you go. Yeah. Uh, so right. there you go. By the way, the rock, the rock uh, lobsters and rock the uh, at the merch table uh, flew off the shelf this week. And uh, apparently, apparently they're all going into stockings for kids. <laughs> nice. So I can't wait. Like the idea that Chachi's uh, bastard creations of a 3D printer are uh, are going to bring so much joy to kids on Christmas morning. It makes me very, very excited. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> my rock lobster is currently sitting on my horror show. There you go. Because <laughs> it is a fucking horror. Uh, oh. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We like to talk wrestling, but somebody... Uh, I believe, you know, is a lapsed wrestling fan, but still joins us for the good old fun of it. Uh, 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 LB, uh, first of all, uh, before we go into this next segment, and, and, you know, we have to start off with it, unfortunately. Fortunately? I mean, <laughs> fortunately. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, how much wrestling have you been watching lately? What is your awareness currently of the wrestling scene? Um, it has been a little bit uh, since I watched professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um well, when last I watched, now this isn't going to be a good marker, but uh, Roman Reigns still had a title, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the big one. Oh, so, so sometime in the next, in the last three years, okay. That's right, that's right. Uh, Gunther was still the Intercontinental Champion. Mm -hmm. um, that probably doesn't narrow it down either. Uh, let's see here. Um, Vince McMahon had a creepy pencil, pencil mustache. That probably yep, doesn't nope, help. Nope. Um, uh, Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins, they made a title and gave it to him so he could have one. Okay. Okay. So we need to keep this recent. Yeah. <laughs> Relatively yeah. recent in the last like yeah. six months, it sounds like, right? Yeah. So I've okay. been, I've been off wrestling. I've been off Instagram, which is where I get most of my wrestling news. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, the last piece of wrestling news that I saw was that Jade Cargill got signed to the WWE. Yeah. That, that was, was a big it. one. Okay. That was a big was one. Guess. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah um okay so uh, so where do we so first let, let's let's keep it local okay you know some people you know mm -hmm. chest flexor so we would we would like to play this game with lb to kind of like catch him up with with what's going on in the wrestling world here two truths mm -hmm. and a lie so so here's here's where here's where we're at and and you know i want to say a couple of things um, two truths, one is a lie. You tell me which one actually happened. Did A, and I'm going to get your reaction here for video, A, did Chess Flexor wrestle an alligator in the last six months? <laughs> B, okay. was there a pasta deathmatch three wherein a plate of pasta was lit on fire <laughs> during the match? Or C, did he actually get a pasta death match cage match made that we know he's been pitching for a while. Okay. All right. Two truths and a lie. Which of those actually happened? All, all of these are eminently believable because chess flexor is a madman. All have uh, probably been pitched to a promoter for sure. Um, okay. So I'm going to say, did he, did he wrestle an alligator? Of course he did. Was it in a wrestling match? Who knows? He he probably just does that just for funsies. You know, you what know I mean? alligators have been known to pop up around Pittsburgh, including exactly. my, including this neighborhood. That's right. They're in the sewers. You think they're not in the sewers? They are in the sewers. Um, uh, pasta is flammable. Known flammable. Um, not a lot. Like you can use it to light candles. Not a lot of people know that. You got to be careful with your pasta. I'm gonna say it's the pasta cage match, and here's why. I think he pitched the pasta cage match, but the cage had to be made out of pasta. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, prohibitive from both a financial standpoint and an engineering standpoint. So that's my guess. Okay. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Well, I can tell you, you are incorrect because oh, no. it was definitely flaming pasta and uh this was just this month this was just a couple weeks ago and by the way this is for a charity show for a young girl uh suffering from childhood leukemia she's mm -hmm. in the back there and uh you're about to see uh how this is going to go uh we we have of course talked about this level couple last couple weeks but it is new to uh lb and he's taking a, on uh, xander gabriel we have the pasta weapons this is pasta death match three by the way <laughs> 
Three. Um, there are three, <laughs> yes. Mambo Italiano returned as a special guest referee. I poke flaming pasta. <laughs> And, pasta. and uh, look and El Cabonk and boom, oh, boom. and fire and, and slide into the crowd and oh, uh, wow. all for charity. Um, okay. So there you go. There you go. And I wanna, there's the pin. There's the pin. One, two, three. And we're going to go to the other shot here. And you see that it's still on fire and Pump Ferrari, Chef Pump is uh gingerly stomping it out <laughs> he's still doing, he's doing his best <laughs> all right i have a bonus question for you lb wait How, a minute wait a minute wait a minute what so so the the flaming pasta was true yes, yes. but the other two were lies the other two were lies Kirk. Okay. Oh, as, as, so, as of I, as of so now and as two, of so and you, as of known yes they were lies okay so i thought so we were two doing two lies. truths we're doing two truths and a lie sword yeah that's the that name of the game. Two lies and the it's truth. two truths and a lie. But oh. you know, tomorrow is just another day, and I bet we could find an alligator somewhere. In Pittsburgh. <laughs> that is true. That is true. We do have the Pittsburgh special. I'm sorry. I, I messed up the game. But I'll give you a bonus okay. question. How many times have I filmed fire in professional wrestling this month? This month? <laughs> I, I actually, actually, give me the last three months. <laughs> okay, last three months. All right. Um... Let's see. And I will count things that explode as this category. Absolutely. Any kind of incendiary device. Yes, yes. Uh, um, I'm going to say it's a pretty high I'm going to say like 25. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say that no, like it's a hot trend in indie wrestling, just shit exploding and lighting on fire. I'm going to say, well, unfortunately, the number is only three, but. <laughs> I was going to say, it's between I like to... 10 and 15. It was either going to be really high or really low. And two, of them, and two of them were matches involving Madman Pondo, so there was that. So Right, yes. Um, he there, does love uh, love setting things aflame. He is very much uh, a fan of that. So Has anybody checked on Cowpoke Paul and his testicles? No, yeah, no, that, no, that, that was, that was, that, 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 was yeah, that was rough. That was rough. No, there was a, a Hardcore 69, Shadow WX, the guy that infamously uh, caught himself on fire. Uh, <laughs> and and Madman Pondo against Beastman and Cowpoke Paul because Necro Butcher canceled. Um, so they okay. <laughs> he was replaced with Cowpoke Paul. Now, hang uh, on a question. Yes, yes. Now, I, real quick, you could have done two truths and a lie and told me that Necro Butcher was still alive, and I would have said that was the the lie. Mm -hmm. That's insane that, that that guy is still out there doing shit. Okay, okay, all right. So did um did I? Okay, here's a true truth and lie from the last year, which is still my personal production. Um, <laughs> did I? Uh, did Necro Butcher do a match where there, wherein he 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 walked barefoot through um Christmas bulbs? Uh, did he um do a match where he is now known as the Maga Butcher? Or is Necro Butcher the mayor of Newcastle? Okay, so one of those is a lie? One of those is a lie. I'm doing the game the right way to make up for it. Okay, all right. Um, listen, I've been to Newcastle. That's entirely believable. <laughs> uh, and he's known to be from there, so. He, he is known, yes. Uh, Newcastle, uh, Pennsylvania, right. by the way, guys. Right, right. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say it's the uh the Christmas balls walking across the Christmas balls. That's the lie. That's the lie. The mayor is the truth, or the the mayor is the lie, and the two other things happened in the okay. same match that I produced at XPW last no <laughs> November, I think. So <laughs> I was really hoping he got elected. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, I no. no. I thought of the other one because he looked like the mayor when I met him at uh, in Dayton a few years ago for Rockstar. So, uh, anyways. <laughs> Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> All right. I got one. Okay, go ahead. DJ Lunchbox. Where's the fur? Which one is the lie? Okay. <clears throat> John Cena. You know him. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, I'm familiar. <laughs> he has not won a match in over 2,000 days in WWE. Okay. That's one. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two. Our truth has won a main title on either Raw or SmackDown. All right. So that's like a tag title, middle card, world title, you know. Mm -hmm. And three, Christian Cage, you know, Christian, you know, said fuck on the air. <laughs> 
Um, okay. All right. Um, I think, I, I believe the Christian thing. I think that's entirely possible. Mm -hmm. I know, like, I know that uh, Edge went to AEW and, you know, they're, they're having their fun. So, yes, I, I, I believe that Christian would say fuck on the air. Um, our truth. I don't know, man. I think I have I have never seen our truth not entirely ripped. Mm -hmm. I mean, he stays in shape just in case. Just like he takes the the twenty four seven belt seriously. Like it's gonna come back and he's gonna be ready. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm gonna say that John Cena uh, losing uh, matches for over two thousand days. I think that's the lie. I think maybe he came back for a special attraction or two and, uh, and uh, you know, did what John Cena does and win, won some matches. So John Cena did come back. Okay. He came back at WrestleMania. He came back at SummerSlam too, right? Okay. The Survivor Series. The actor's strike. Yeah. Took, it, it changed a lot of things. He hasn't won. He, he's... he's He's, he hasn't won in 2,000 days. All right, Over 2,000 days. You're talking about Jonathan Felix Cena. Jonathan Super DJ Lunchbox's friend Cena. My actual daddy, John Cena, hasn't yes. won a match. What is happening? <laughs> Madness. What, which one's a lie? Did Christian oh, say our, fuck? Our, our truth. Uh, yeah, he, oh, he okay. actually was hurt the majority of the year this year. Oh, um, poor guy. He actually came back, mm -hmm. and I think he is part of Judgment mm -hmm. Day. Yeah, he won. Know? He won yeah. his way into Judgment okay. Day, or at least kicked out kind JD of. last night. So that's okay. in, in a thirty fourth Miracle and Forty Thirty Fourth Street. Thirty fourth Street fight. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, just to, just to close the loop on the firmware discussion, I, I wanted you to see the other fire incident that happened uh, oh, just no. this past <laughs> weekend. Okay. Uh, so there's Beastman and Man Pondo. There's Shadow. Oh look, there's fire. Oh my God, there oh, Beastman wow. is down. There you go. Uh, so, so there, that, that happened in a very flammable old building in West Virginia. I do, I, this I do love a good, a good use of fire in a match. That That's, was, that was, uh, I, that I like was how, wicked. I, I like how he stomped out the flames right over the, uh, the carpet. Where your where your wires are. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh! My my wires are covered in gasoline. By the way, yeah. Uh, so there, there's that issue. He he used the wires cut a few times. Um, I, my arm was also very black and blue. From what? Uh, uh, Cause Beastman hit me really hard Beastman. with the ladder. Oh sh wait, what did he hit you with the ladder? Was yeah, that in that man. like corner by the concession stand? Cause we couldn't see much of it. No. So here's what happened. Oh um, no. Missy sent me over to make sure they didn't mess with the hard cam. Mm -hmm. So I went over there. I was blocking the hard cam. Oh, and he did the Terry Funk. Oh, and he did the right. Terry Funk, and he purposely hit me with a ladder. Oh, no. And all I heard was, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck, asshole. Uh, like, as you do. My, my, full, my real reaction was, what the fuck? <laughs> and, I, and I, like, grabbed my arm, and I'm like, I'm like, Josh is like, you're really selling him. Like, because he really hit me with the goddamn ladder. <laughs> really, I'm not fucking selling, man. I'm not fucking selling. <laughs> I was cracking up. I'm like, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right, let's do one more, and then we got to move on. We'll, we'll go into all our right. predictions and everything. So, uh, right. does okay. anybody have one more? All right. All right, Bonner. Uh, thank you. One. We can. We okay. got this. Uh... Yep. I'll bling it up here. So, um, <laughs> this is... This all involves the Judgment Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dirty Dominic Mysterio mm -hmm. has had or had the belt, the NXT North American belt, as champion for around 140 days. Okay. Rhea Ripley has had no title defenses. In the last two months. Mm. And there was an attempted at war games. There was an attempted cash in by um, Damian Priest that was thwarted by a returning Randy Orton. Randy Orton? Mm -hmm. During Ooh. war games. 
during war games. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, I I believe. Listen, I I'm I've never been a fan of Damian Priest. I, I think that he's as boring as you know Tuesday afternoon. You know oh what I mean? Gosh. He's he's a, he's a, he's a white sheet of paper. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, wow. the, Shit. <laughs> I I think the most interesting thing about him is that Randy Orton probably showed up and beat him up. I'm I'm on board for that one. Um Dominic Mysterio, huh? Uh having a having a having a belt. And uh, yep, 140 to around 140 days. Wow. And then Rhea Ripley with no title defenses. Mm-hmm. Um I think okay, I think the lie is Dominic because the best the best thing about him is that he uh he's a little turd, right? He's a little he's a little fart in the wind. Mm-hmm. Um so I mm-hmm. think I think um maybe he did have the title at one point but probably dropped it immediately. Uh Rhea Ripley, she's she's um uh uh what's the word I'm looking for? She's 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 got the star power, you know what I mean? You want her on the card. Um, she puts butts in seats or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's my guess is Dominic Mysterio uh, is a little turd. Well, Dominic is a little turd. <laughs> However, over two title reigns, a hundred and well, it depends if you look at WWE. I'm, I'm checking Wikipedia. Her WWE 139, other 141. So he Damn. had the title. He had it on Raw. SmackDown, NXT, and pay-per-views. Mm-hmm. Wow. Rhea only had two, I will say, televised title defenses. Right. Both on pay-per-views. Crown Jewel and Survivor Series. Okay. Other than that, she has not had a title fence on TV mm-hmm. since... Uh, Sears Crown Jewel. I don't consider Saturday Night Main Event. Nobody, nobody considers. Uh, no one does. Um, yeah, let's see here. November 9th. Huh. She beat Raquel Rodriguez on Raw. Man, that's just bad business. You got to get Rhea up there in the main event. Mm-hmm. And during the War Games, Randy was supposed to be a surprise or. or uh, you know, an extra person on Team Cody. Everyone was in. All the good guys were laid out. Rhea came down with the briefcase, getting ready to cash in for Damien. And then Randy came out. Huh. Well, I mean, I'm glad Randy Orton is... Wait, am I? Where are we? Yeah. Where we are? Where are we on Randy Orton these days? Good, bad. I, I, we are good. Uh, we're Daddy is I, we're home. Good. Daddy is home. Yes, okay. as he said, Daddy is home, and yes. Randy is looking uh, swole right now. Mm-hmm. He's looking okay. good for, for for someone who had double back fusion surgery. Holy shit! He looks he looks amazing. <laughs> okay. Another uh, good, another good game we could play is can lunchbox name the other three participants in on team mm. Cody. <laughs> um okay, all right, team Cody. All right. Mm-hmm. So let's see here. Um so was it five? It was five, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we got we got Cody, we got Randy Orton. Yep. Uh I'm gonna say um uh that Sammy Zayn is still in the mix. Uh and where Sammy goes probably uh uh, uh, fucking KO goes, uh, Kevin mm-hmm. Owens, and just for funsies, let's throw in the Jerry. <laughs> huh? Well, that would have been interesting. That would have been cool. <laughs> that was a direction. Yeah, no. Okay. Was it wrong? It's wrong. Nope. Okay. <laughs> um. So the first one was Jay Sammy. Uso. Sam- what, was it Sammy? Yeah, yeah, it was Sammy. You got Sammy, Sammy right. Sammy was okay. in there. Sammy was Sammy. in there. Uh, the next one was Seth Rollins, which, oh. which obviously, you know, the cash in having 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 mm. the number one having your champion in a in a match with somebody who can cash it in at any time. 
might not work, but it did work for some reason. Yeah, that, that's asking for trouble. Yeah, uh, and eat Jey Uso. Oh yeah, didn't they? They yeah, the, they put him on different shows, and isn't Jay getting like a singles push? Is he still yeah. getting that? Yeah, he's, he's oh, a yeah. baby now. Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. a baby, and, and he's getting a push, and he's getting a major reaction in the audience. Great, mm-hmm. that's great. Good for him. It is one of the coolest things, dude. I mm-hmm. see it's the the first. I think it's the first time he started doing the the hand wave thing, and everybody's with mm-hmm. him in the crowd, and it was fucking magical mm-hmm. at SummerSlam. Nice. It was so awesome. It was so cool. Uh, and, and they and they got the word yeet over. Yeah, and the yeet, yeet is over. Yeet. Uh, yeah, yeet. they actually. They, they they actually lost it and then brought it back. Some wrestler yeah. in West they, Virginia they, they, they has a mm-hmm. has a trademark on Yeet apparently in wrestling, yeah. and they uh they lost Yeet for a week. So yeah. Yeet for a week. So I'm hoping uh, they paid that guy. <laughs> it's, it's like let oh, the guy they, have they a, have did. a payday, you know. So now I, I want to ask him a question before we move on. Sure, one last. It, just just one question. Uh, would you believe me if I told you CM Punk worked for two companies? And then uh, is doing whatever he's going to do now. But we've got CM Punk before we got a new Grand Theft Auto game. <laughs> um, I, I would actually believe that. Um, mm-hmm. Because uh, when, last I, when last I checked in with uh, Charles Montgomery Punk, um, he was, uh, I guess, biting people in AEW and mm-hmm. just, just making himself in general a menace. Um, so I, I believe that he, uh, parted ways with that organization and WWE picked him up because, Hey, why not? <laughs> what the I, fuck is behind you, Lunchbox? That's me. <laughs> that's me. I, no, no, uh, no, not, I, I know that's you. The but green in, in one? The you corner. mean the one in the green? The whole the corner. The little green guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hang, hang on. I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, I'm sorry for audio is, listeners. Um, uh, oh, Basil Crookington. Bat- Basil Crookington. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there's yeah. the uh, there's the album cover right there. He's, please, he's yeah, please, man. please send me that 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 picture. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I can take care of that. So he's a he's a big uh, big frog man. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll get some attention. Um, Sorry, I, I, so I, I, mm. that just so, caught my eye for audio listeners. It was it's amazing. Potter? real quick, real quick. Um, uh, since we just talked about. Mr. Punk himself. I just mm. wanted to have Lunchbox's reaction to this. Okay. The way they reintroduced Punk in WWE was at Survivor Series after the good guys won the match. So you have all five of the good guys in the ring, mm-hmm. right? Celebrating. The copyright symbol comes up. You know, copyright WWE, but they pan out to a large shot of the crowd with everyone in the ring. The The announcers don't say anything. They look like they're getting ready to fade away. And then all of a sudden, Punk's music hits. Was it was it Cult of Personality? It, it was. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, he owns, he owns the rights. Good Lord. So, yep, he, he came out. Didn't say anything, just kind of came out, looked, Seth lost his shit, <laughs> and then they faded to black. Oh, fucking Sam. <laughs> the, the man's a menace. He's a menace. The man is a menace. And I'm up. The, okay, yeah, that that's well, what on earth were they thinking? But I'm also kind of mad. Because I would like to see CM Punk versus Seth Rollins. That's right, upsetting. Right, right. Hey, well, you will. Yeah, you well, will. Here we are. And, and here we are. In, in, yep. In April. Guys, yep. this show, uh, uh, we really appreciate everybody that helps keep the gears rolling on this show. Uh, everybody at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. We usually do a little bit extra for you guys. I may have some new fun stuff in the new year that we're kind of working on too. Mm. And also some new ways you can support us. If you are not a Patreon person, if you're on different platforms that have little subscribe buttons and stuff, we're looking at that for the new year. But in the meantime, thank you for everybody who's been following us over there on Patreon. Thank you to our friends at the fan of the show level. Bo Diggity! Woo! Woo! As well as 
Hedberg, Team Hammerfist, and the Tupac family, uh, yes. as well as Poppy Club at the Poppy Club level. Dave Profpod Potter, spouse of Roost Julia Affair at RoostJuliaAffair.com, and Rats in a Trench Coat Tony Kincaid at the Pizza Club level. Doc Remedy, The Riz, and Lance Fisher, and at the Manager level, Bradley, who is uh, going to be in attendance at the STD Festivus party. Uh, thank you, guys. You can support the show too. Check out some <laughs> extra videos, including extra stories about how Reese Hayes, why, who, who kept Reese Hayes out of the wrestling business for five years, and more about Mikey Montgomery. And uh, I'm, I'm sure we talked about backyard wrestling some more after the show last week. I can't remember, but it's it's up there uh, over on the Patreon. So thank you, everybody that does support the show over there. Uh, and of course, you can hit us up that email address. Good times. Good times at Mayhemshow dot com with your Christmas gift greetings, your New Year's wrestling resolutions, or whatnot. As we will be taking a week off here uh, and coming back at our new time that we test drive tonight at nine p.m. Eastern time. Fuck NXT. I'll watch it afterwards. Uh, right here <laughs> at NXT at Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are back, baby, at a respectable hour. Because we have bedtimes, okay? Because mm -hmm. we're, we're old, old, damn it. We're getting we old, are old on this show. We've been doing this. I'm an adult. Listen, we've been doing this since <laughs> 2006, and some of us have beddy times, and we got some pills <laughs> with certain time schedules now, and mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. and some of us have like maybe children, or maybe we have like other things going on. We have responsibilities that we probably still ignore. Anyways, this is a Wrestling Mayhem show, and one thing we like to do is predictions for the new year, and then we'll get into what we learned for the year. If you're in the chat rooms right now, I got about all of them in front of me. Of course, the Facebook chat is usually the most populated. If you have predictions for 2024 in professional wrestling, get them ready. Get them in. If you haven't yet, I'll do one last check with... <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting some amazing messages right now from Dutters that have nothing to do with this show. Uh, <laughs> um, go up, go look up Neil the Seal. I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah, uh, Neil the Seal. Yeah. Neil oh, God. I, I, yeah. okay, I think okay. I know what you're talking about. I discovered about. it like yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, I lost the video. Uh, <laughs> I guess everybody's uh, getting me right now. So <laughs> let's take a look. This is the shame portion of the show. This is the part where we go back and we say, what did you predict for 2023? How far did you get? How close did you get to how much of a, a soothsayer predictor are you? Chachi had submitted 75% of WWE talent cut will go back to WWE. Honestly? Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty that's good. A, that's, that's a point. A, that's Papa, a, give him a point. Pa Papa Trips, he got a point. Uh, number two, he's got four of your AEW overfills roster from indies. That that's uh, uh, no no no. Down a not bit. from indies, I'm not out. from indies. Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> he's been independent for a while. Um, Triple H does something stupid with pay per view. Tries to make Royal Rumble his own two man's eighty man rumble. <laughs> what two what? man? Well, the oh, thing is, tri uh, Triple H didn't have full control mm -mm -mm -mm, until, until, yeah. half until half the year. Yeah. So we'll see what he does with the Rumble this upcoming year. Impact Wrestling will be the steadiest wrestling company in the U.S., same as it was in 22. Honestly? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, kind of. It's, it's, yeah, it's there. Pretty, pretty good. Definitely for women's wrestling. Definitely yeah, for women's wrestling. No, 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 they've been so, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they've been good. You don't they've hear from them. They got buzz. You don't hear from them. But if you are, you're having a good time, right? Yeah. Uh, Eamon, uh, <laughs> temporary commissioner of VCW, Eamon, um, <laughs> uh, says, uh, 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 LB, it's so great to see Eamon uh, and Merlin involved in local professional wrestling in, in yeah. so many tasks. At, oh, yeah. I think Eamon's got like three jobs at VCW right now. So... Um, <laughs> Vince will return in some capacity. Yes, right. Uh, so he's, he's in the relative doghouse now, I think, because of his uh, issues. Uh, um, <laughs> the mad one <laughs> predicted Vince would be inducted in the Hall of Fame. Too soon. Too Not soon. Yet. No. Upon return, Cody will bring out Pharaoh and it will bite someone in story. Maybe Seth Rollins. Did not happen. Did not happen. No. But I would have loved to see it. 
Kenny Omega and Mandy Rose will hit V triggers on AEW Dark and Universal Studios in front of 35 people and a mascot. <laughs> that did not happen. That well, not happen. it, 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 may, it may be a while before we see Kenny again. Yeah, unfortunately. Did they say what is wrong with them right now? Diverticulitis. Oh, isn't that what yep. Brock had? That's the Brock mm-hmm. Lesnar. That's yep. the Brock Lesnar. That, that, LB, Brock. that LB's mom came on and talked to us about. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think that is the only mother that's been on the show officially. No, right? no. As did Amon's mom come on? Like she visited, once? but she was not on the show. I don't. Oh, okay. I think she's been incidentally on the show in the background yeah. of a Zoom call. <laughs> yeah, that's so, right. Back that's when right. he was still in Texas. So. Um, let's see. And we also had Bobby F. J. Town, who's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Yeah, you shut your mouth mm. about Bobby F. Fucking J. Town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so where we go? Where we go? Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta get to this. Someone on this show will be drawn into a storyline in Pittsburgh area wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Eamon I just talked about and to, to the fact that he got hit by a kendo stick and had a face to face with David Lawless um, and uh, Dutter's big booted David Lawless hey there's a common denominator here <laughs> Mm-hmm. Why is everybody beating David Lawless? I don't know. Why is Shmail? David Lawless? Should I should I be worried about Friday? Why story? is David Lawless getting involved I with so be. many untrained people in wrestling? Between those two and uh, and and wrestling Nick West this Sunday, like this is I don't know. Um, iconically, oh the I, the iconics uh, will return to pro wrestling. No, because they're just mm. trading baby making right now. So, oh Emily Fear, I should have sent an invite to Emily. I feel so bad I didn't. Um, uh, she she had some from last year. AEW Women's Tag Division starts. Did not. Jake Hager loses hat in a hat versus hair match. Did he not, but gave up the hat. And Danhausen has it. I give a half point. Um, it's a half. It's a half point. A half hat point. Uh, Hyann gets signed. Was in a, in 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 a pre Tony ROH. Uh, I do not think that she has popped up. I think maybe as like a darker enhancement somewhere. So, um, anyways, Alex Cars from California. Ring of Honor gets TV deal on TV network. Mad Mike will continue to ask what channel ROH was on. Uh, half right. <laughs> I, because, I think that happened because Mike will ask the second thing. Uh, what's that? Didn't they get it? Well, no. they, they they got signed by they get picked you're, up by. Uh... No, no, you're thinking NWA. I thought you said R- I thought you said ROH. I said ROH. Yeah, they're they ha- they have their own deal, don't they? No, they're still no. Honor Club. They're still on. Uh... Uh, In oh, fact, their pay per views yeah. are no longer on Bleacher Report. Oh, so. You know, I, Honor I, Club. Yeah, I, still... yeah. Sorry, I t- tried to give you a point. Okay. Successor to Chikara will rise. I think he's, I think he's going to give that one every year though. Where is it? I haven't heard from Alex for a while. Is he all right? I haven't even seen him in the Slack lately. We, we got to reach out. Hey, Alex, say hi if you're listening. Um, Merlin says Ricky Starks will get a world title. No, well, he got a tag title, yeah. so he's there. Main promotion will do a queer storyline, and online will try to cancel them for it. Um, mm. uh, yeah, mm, not, I don't think that's there yet. I think the closest, well, okay, well, here. I think the closest that you have, and it was actually the quite the opposite, do you remember when Bowens and uh, What's Her Face from QTV had that exchange? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. was the most positive. Uh, that uh, was great. Queer moment, I guess you could say. Like I like, and that everybody, like, and, and LB, are you aware of this moment that happened? No, sir. All right, all right. So, uh, uh, she comes out and she sings, and their her guys are feuding with with the acclaimed and everything, and you you know Bowens and. And uh, uh, the other guy. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> you know the acclaimed. The scissor so, guys. So she's like hitting the on guys, him. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, lady, what are you doing? I'm gay. And then the entire crowd just starts chanting, he's gay, he's gay, <laughs> in a positive <laughs> manner. Oh, that's great. It was the most heartwarming <laughs> thing I've seen on television all year. It was fantastic. <laughs> it was it was a it, it was a groundbreaking moment, let's say. 
Sorg. Oh, that's me. Um, it's you, Sorg. No it's more in, you. No more interim titles in AEW. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> um, continued shifting of the indie, indie streaming landscape. More C- GCW-type moves across Fight IWTV and Pro Wrestling TV. Oh, my God. I think one of those wow. isn't around anymore. Well, yeah. to update on that, GCW-type moves, I believe how they left IWTV and became a Fight Plus exclusive um, in the meantime, people from Fight have left and started Premier Wrestling. Pro Wrestling TV, I think, has mostly folded. Uh, our friends at Defy Wrestling started Remix TV that our friends at Enjoy are also on. Uh, mm-hmm. So we're going to see how that plays out because it's a new venture and you never know. Um, Fight is turn is now Triller TV as of last week, apparently. Um, and just other... Let's just say there's some interesting things at fight right now. Uh, so uh, that, that's in the news and in the underground, and it's interesting. So, yeah, it's shifty as fuck. Uh, so, um, but Indie Wrestling Network is still here and has more subscribers than ever, and I thank every one of you out there. Uh, keep subscribing and keep watching 880 Wrestling with Thursday and Friday shows. Check out Brandon St. James on Holly Holiday uh, this Friday night free on all indie wrestling.us streaming platforms. Anyways, <clears throat> and we're looking for sponsors. Please email me at good times at wrestling mayhem Good times. Thank you. Tina, Mother of Dragon says <laughs> five mayhemers slash friends of the show will come to Seattle or the West Coast. There will mm, sorry. <laughs> no. I was supposed Ooh. to. I'm just gonna say I was supposed to and had tickets at one point and then mm-hmm. things didn't work out. Who are um, going to be the five? She, could have she been said maybe, five. We were, yeah, you could have been you, Riz. It could have been well, you. Well, it said friend of the show, so... Oh, yeah, it did say friend of the show. Are we talking That is true. That is true. Okay, let us know how that went. Did you see a lot more people that we um, that we uh, uh, are aware of out there? Wasn't, wasn't Moriarty there? Likely. Likely. So, we'll see. Uh, share more, share more. Uh, why is this all in one thing? There will be an IWGP women's title defense on AEW TV. Ugh, there wasn't. There, there wasn't. Was, but was I, there? But I was. No, I don't think so. I don't. No. Think, I don't think so. Was didn't Willow defend it? Did she? Oh, st- no, I didn't. The strong title was not a thing. But uh, I will give a half point because I believe she did. She at least walked around with it on the show a lot. Um. So and I was there in tech directing when they um crowned the first ever new japan strong women's champion uh so i think you can see that on axis and youtube right now uh potter says mjf as wwe champion potter Mm. don't you know how contracts work (laughs) yeah and i know they can be bought out and i know wrestling contracts are contracts it's air quotes there yes air quotes after all someone else is under an aew contract but he showed up at Survivor Series. Uh, I think this is also yours, but I got a space in between it. Since I didn't, it, 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 this I'm just gonna read this verbatim. Uh, since I didn't make it for a prediction section, hashtag more caffeine. Vince will be back and on TV and behind the scenes, and CM Punk will be on TV in 2023. I think that was you. Could have been, yeah. Or I forgot to put take, somebody's name on this. Take that. Well, point. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. And I think what happened was I put that in Slack and was on the show. Yeah, but you I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. So yeah, okay. I remember that you were like, you I got gotcha. you debating on me. On the I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. All right. So that is those are the predictions for for 2023. We are going to take a breather. We're going to let everybody simmer on that a little bit. Think about that a little bit, mm-hmm. okay? Just let that digest a little bit as I we regale you with song. Because the 12 Days of Mayhem is back. And it's a duet this, week, this year. Tatiana is back. And Keith Hot uh, also contributes. And we're going to get you that right now. Mayhem Christmas, everybody. And I'm sure this is the part the sword's going to put in. <laughs> get started. On the first day of Christmas the mayhem gave to me still only one woman's match on dynamite. On the second day of Christmas the mayhem gave to me two breast pro chachos and still only one man's match on dynamite. On the third day of Christmas the mayhem gave to me 
Three brawling broods, two best bro chachos, and still only one women's match on dynamite. On the fourth day of Christmas, the mayhem gave to me four calls for slice, three brawling broods, two best bro chachos, and still only one women's match on dynamite. On the fifth day of Christmas, the mayhem gave to me five things we learned four calls for slice three brawling brutes two best bro chachas and still only one women's match on dynamite on the sixth day of christmas the mayhem gave to me six abroad pialis two big questions what was that four calls for slice three Brawling brutes, two best bro chachos, and still only one women's match on dynamite. On the seventh day of Christmas, the mayhem gave to me seven patrons donating six of broad peelies, five big bits. Five things we learned? What? Four calls for slice, three brawling brutes, two best bro chachos, and still only one women's match on dynamite. Seriously, what is that about? On the eighth day of Christmas, the mayhem gave to me eight wars of gaming, seven patrons donating six abroad PLEs, five. Five things we learned. Four calls for slice, three brawling brutes, two best bro chachos, and still only one women's match on dynamite. On the ninth day of Christmas, the mayhem gave to me nine father figures eight wars at gaming seven patrons donating six abroad PLEs five things we learned four calls for slice three brooklyn brawls two best bro chachos and still only one women's match on dynamite on the tenth day of christmas the mayhem gave to me ten grits of planking <laughs> Five <laughs> things we learned. Four calls for slice, three brawling brutes, two best bro chachos, and still only one women's match on dynamite. On the eleventh day of Christmas, the mayhem gave to me eleven mommy uglers, a real glass of breaking, nine father figures, eight wars of gaming, seven patrons donating, six abroad PLEs. Chachos and still only one women's match on dynamite. Seriously, I'm not that much of a soprano. On well, the 12th day, day of Christmas, the ma'am gave to me 12 wrestlers bleeding, 11 days with mommy, 10 glass of breaking, 9 father figures, 8 wars of gaming, 7 patients donating, 6 bra PLEs, 5 things we Four calls for slice, three brawling brutes, two best bro chachas, and still only one woman's match on dynamite. Seriously, can we get more next year? Book more women, please. back riz no don't fuck with my count uh we are back <laughs> wrestling mayhem show it is a holiday 
party, if you will. I got the beer. I got it's my last one actually. I got I got stock up for tomorrow night. Uh, we got the Riz. We got Partner. We got uh, uh, who else is out there that I can't see right now? <laughs> we, uh, Ronnie. We got Ronnie, Ronnie Starks. Starks is here. We got, got an OSHA vest. An OSHA vest. Look at that. <laughs> there we Ooh, go. And Thursday. we got the Throwback. returning DJ Lunchbox. Hello. <laughs> yes. I'm enjoying a lovely cup of tea. What is happening behind you now? Is that a Kermit the Frog body? No. no. Kermit the Frog here. Yeah, it's Kermit the Frog. It's Kermit. Oh, yeah. it's just Kermit. Okay. Kermit the Frog. I, I love it. Do a good I love it. Yay! It is. The... <laughs> it is the predictions portion of the show. So let's get into it. We have some submitted, but let's start with the people here in front of us Ooh. on the show. Who would like to go first? Me, please. Ronnie Starks has the floor. Prediction number one. Our truth will dethrone. Fucking what's his face? I can't remember his name. Gunther. Gunther. He will dethrone Gunther for the other oh, title. Fucking son of a bitch, Ronnie. <laughs> that was gonna be yours, huh? <laughs> um, how many predictions do I get? I like aim for three. Three. Yes. Uh, prediction number two. I have like two. Cody Rhodes will not dethrone Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. The storyline will continue to SummerSlam, and that's when he will win the title. Hmm. And uh, three, the final one, uh, CM Punk will not win the title at WrestleMania. Uh, he will burn bridges on his way out the door again, As and he will be gone by 2025 from WWE. Okay. All right. Got it. Who's next? I'll go next. Uh, first, Gunther will win over Seth in Berlin to take the title. Um, in terms, and this is show related. Tina will cause chaos and mayhem mania. Well, that's, well, a, that's given. a given. <laughs> <laughs> and the most talked about AEW superstar will continue to be. Timeless Tony. I love Timeless Tony. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It feels like it feels like just just RJ City is just running creative over there. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. That's Ponder. Who's okay. next? All right, Riz. All right. First one, uh I will I will continue the R Truth bandwagon. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to be more broader than just one title. Mm -hmm. I'm saying our truth will win a main title on either WWE or NXT. Oof. I can see him winning North America. I can see him getting a tag partner like, you know, uh, Dominic Mysterio. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to go on a limb here mm -hmm. and say that WWE 2K24 will have more of a robust roster than 23. Okay. I don't know the numbers for how much how many wrestlers are on 23, but mm -hmm. let's see. That's about I don't think it's 251. That doesn't sound right. But I feel like the graphics issue is better. Mm -hmm. and they'll focus again they'll focus some more on the storylines and and the modes that are in there like gm mode is still amazing i still need to fight i need i still need to face you and dutters and our uh quest uh for this gm mode sorg just putting it out there um but yeah that's two and 246 three, superstars are in 2k 246 i think it's gonna be 129 but, right away, uh, and then unlocks some DLC, I believe. Right. Yeah, I bought the wrong wrestling game. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that, that, I'm just going to say it. WWE wins the uh, betting war of two, 2024. Mm -hmm. Oh, MJF? Yeah. Oh, MJF is definitely leaving. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. 
We'll see. After all the hype from Iron Claw and everything you saw with him with a bunch of WWE people, mm-hmm. you know John Cena and him had a good conversation. Mm-hmm. LB, so. would you like to go next? Sure. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, first, okay. It, keep in mind, this is based off of not watching wrestling for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so some of these may have already happened, and I didn't know, or uh, they may be unfeasible. But let's let's go ahead and make these predictions anyway. First, WrestleMania, we will see Rhea Ripley versus Jade Cargill. I think the match is going to happen, and boy, am I going to watch it. Um, Did you say at, next. at an event or it's going to happen? It's it's going to happen, okay. I think, at WrestleMania. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, next, uh, AEW will get... Um, they will become more accessible via streaming. Whether it's a deal with Hulu or another organization, they will... Um, they will become easier to find and watch and um as a as a footnote to that one i will begin watching aw regularly because i don't have cable let me tell you a good hack for that after the show okay all right um okay um cm punk will uh uh i agree with ronnie starks uh punk will burn more bridges uh leaving wwe and he will go to the only promotion that will have him rwa uh and finally <laughs> i can just see him and patrick hayes just hitting it off oh, uh, hit i can't off. wait for someone to pile drive his mother <laughs> <laughs> finally and this is a big one this is a big one i think um i think it's time i'm gonna make this prediction 2024 will be the year that vince mcmahon passes away Jeez. yeah have That's you it. seen have you seen the videos of him no no what does he look like um there is this video of him and the undertaker walking around which is a weird sentence to say out loud mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah um yeah taker's like following him around uh and he's on a like he's he's walking with a cane now and it's it's He's walking really. Oh, is this slow the one in and, Saudi? Yes, in Saudi Arabia. Mm. Okay, this one. And no, yes, no. that one. Hmm. Well, he just had ha- like major surgery or like back. He just surgery. had back sur- so, so yeah, he had I mean, that's, back it's, surgery. It, 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 whether who knows what, but yeah, yeah, it, it's you know not unwarranted, you know, given that. So, but but still, yeah, he's he's looking a little. He he's probably looking, yep. he probably hates. He probably he, hates so bad he has to use a cane. He probably oh, hates everything happening on television. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, he he hates every he has hated everything for a long time. He's a bad person. Mm-hmm. He's a bad, terrible, evil man, mm-hmm. and he's going to die. And he's going to go to that big, uh, big squared circle in uh, let's be honest, hell probably. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. In the words of a popular Russian, in a Rocky movie, if he dies, he dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Wow! Hey! Hey, guys! Lighten up sorry, a sorry, bit. sorry to bring it down. Um, uh, <laughs> okay, let's we'll lift we'll it. Well, there goes one. that job application. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. so, I, no, I, I'm not the, even getting booked as it is. I'm not even worried about it. The opinions of DJ Lunchbox do not are not the expressed opinions of the Wrestling Mayhem show. Um, still give Sorg a job. That's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> we'll lighten it up. Dan Housen comes to WWE. Okay, that's okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> the end. Oh shit! Um, I'll go next because mine. I, I kind of echo yours a little bit here. Um, I believe that AEW will have a. Uh, I'm going to call it a Peacock slash WWE style deal for back catalog with a provider like Max. You know, Max is I think the obvious I see Max one. Max would be the. I mean, yeah, I've talked about it for mm-hmm. months. You know, this Bleacher yeah. Report Max thing, the new sports thing that just dropped over there. They're going to have something because they 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 have over five years of content, like great great content, and there's no way to go back and see it um, easily. I guess in like a nice collected place, and obviously they're doing the play with Honor Club with all that crazy back catalog. I literally went through and favorited every show that I've seen and tried to figure out which one I saw with Mike at Hammerstein Ballroom back in the two thousands. 
Um, <laughs> so it was, I keep thinking his final battle was actually Death Before Dishonor, so I keep mixing that up. Uh, but I, I look forward to going back there. Even I went and looked at the one from the David Lawrence Convention Center where it had like Matt Hardy and Adam Cole teaming up, apparently. Uh, and the finals of the Prospect ch- uh, Tournament that was uh, Hanson and Ray Rowe, now the Viking Raiders. So, you know. Mm. Um, anyways, uh, a part of that, um, do, 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 or they may roll everything into a new or spun off version of Honor Club. I've said this is an experiment with them. Obviously, you see them experimenting a bit more with, with Final Battle finally coming back to Honor Club for this. Um, AEW and others will form a coalition like the one that just formed in Japan. Have you heard about this? No. No. Um, let, me, let me pull up the story real quick. Uh, Japan Wrestling. I'm they, call tr- it. they tried that, though, a couple of years ago. Sorry. It's like the – it's the uh, they're calling it – no, that's the old one. Uh <laughs> Where's the news? Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, yes, you, the uh, more details on the United Japan Pro Wrestling Alliance, and and and, and in the past, like they did not play as well together. Ooh. In the last few years, this has changed. New Japan Wrestling is one of the nine member promotions to join the newly founded industry group United Japan Pro Wrestling. A joint event will take place at Nippon Budokan on May sixth. Those, yeah. those those companies include, of course, New Japan, All Japan Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Noah, DDT Pro Wrestling, um, also known as Cyber Fight Company, uh, Gone Bar, pardon me, uh, Pro Wrestling, Big Japan Pro Wrestling, Dragon Gate, which does still uh, uh, exist over there, World World Wonder Ring Stardom, we just know Stardom, I think, and Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling. Hmm. So it um. They mentioned they are open to welcoming other Japanese wrestling companies into the team down the line. Furthermore, United Japan Pro Wrestling only serves as a main body for overseeing operations. Within the companies involved, business identities of each promotion under the group shall be preserved, allowing themselves to retain competitive nature of Japanese wrestling scene. So, um, get Gato and- move. Get Gato move. <laughs> Is that get, the Choco Pro? Get Choco Pro. Get Choco Pro under here. Um... <clears throat> So there you go. There, that that's what's happening there. So I could imagine something of an impact NWA, um, maybe some of the larger independent promotions like a Defy, um, uh, Warrior, uh, uh, GCW, you know, kind of thing happening. Uh, if they, if, uh, now I don't know <laughs> if everybody can get on the same page. This is always that fun question. I think we saw that with the NWA in the two thousands. Um, if everybody can get on the same page and get be a little less backstabby it, you know it is pro wrestling um but you know i think if the right uh i i that's my that's my wild prediction is there's gonna I be see n- not an n- not an nwa but even something that like nwa would buy into as a company like NWA, I, go ahead uh, sorry go ahead. i didn't mean to interrupt you sorg well I, go ahead I, I would say nwa i don't count because it's not i don't think it's a true like it's not a. It's not an NWA. You know, NWA is a name of a promotion. It's not an a a mm-hmm. like NWA was an alliance. What well, you know was an overseer right. of multiple promotions, much in this fashion. I think. Right. I think the only thing missing is there a you know uh, what is this called again? Is there a United Japan Pro Wrestling champion? And maybe there will be on May sixth. Mm-hmm. For all we know, right. So that I think that would be very interesting to see what and, happens there. And you're saying this is for the indies, right? Uh, no, 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 no. I think this or, is or for. Like main... I think this is for for like you know main company. Like AEW could become part of a faction like this, or or they could be the presider over it. You know, you but know. Can they they did this like a couple years ago with them with AAA with uh, oh, they, Impact Impact. No, no, no. They, they, like they, they had they had they they had their champions on. Sure. Shows. So they've worked together. Like they've done this without right. an overseeing promotion. Mm-hmm. A, a, well, I think AEW has been like, we're going to bring this up. You know, <laughs> I, you know, I think when you talk about their work, which you know, we, I see a AAA champions weekly on AEW, which is fantastic. Mm-hmm. The New Japan Strong Championship is now going to be a very, uh, a big facility. You know, with that Triple Crown Championship, ideally, um, you know, whoever has that is going to carry all three belts. Uh, from what I understand. Um, so that, that you just like attached new Japan to AEW, Mm -hmm. you know, that shows like kind of how well that partnership is going. Maybe there's some version of this that's in the works. 
for I the American s- companies. I, I do see something more along the lines of like those big indie companies that we were talking about, the GCWs, the the Warriors, the, the those small, the, 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 not small. What high level indies. Let's call the them high, high level, level indies. indies. Yes. Because <laughs> I see like people like uh, a Matt Cardona and an Effie mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. So, those people that are big in the independent scene mm-hmm. going like, hey, we should have our own section of stuff. Yeah. Like GCW's working here. We need more people over in in Warrior. Mm-hmm. We need more people mm-hmm. in Enjoy. We need share more pe- assets, right? Yeah, there yeah. was there was something floated to me about working with other promotions for sharing, not the not just the wrestling talent, but the production talent. Because if mm-hmm. everybody's trying to if 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 everybody's trying to book a director, you know, and they're booked in. A uh, Chicago and and there's a show that they want them in Seattle like that doesn't work for people right so you know that that kind of thing happens because nobody owns mm. nobody's got an exclusive contract because everybody is you know just like the wrestlers we're like oops sorry to you know, sorry and I'm just saying because these are promotions I work with so there's ones on the top of my head sorry Defy I'm booked with GCW on this day and they, we then they, right. they work together right uh, like like that something kind like of how thing. the collective how yeah. the collective worked. Mm-hmm. Where it had all these big conglomerates of mm-hmm. companies like become like represented, these, yeah, yeah, that, that representative everything. And, and, and there's and and and, and and it's um uh, it, 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 just to point out some things. Tina saying it would be too messy with the different state athletic commissions. That's just I don't think that's any different. The WWE has to deal with every individual athletic commission. You know what I mean? Like I, I I'm talking about more the high level business part of it. You know, um, I work with. Oh, let me think about, I know I work, I work with an MMA company, an MMA production company that works with multiple uh, promotions across different states. And I know very specifically, there's certain things that we have not been allowed to do on my side with productions and sponsors uh, with some of the mechanisms that they do. Um, cause they kind of have a very forward thinking platform. I talked about it over on, uh, awesome cast uh, expectation sports. If anybody wants to looks about, it. they have to deal with live betting. I think this is a perfect example. If you're talking about the athletic commissions, they proceed to have platforms or, uh, uh, companies platformed on their, on their, um, platformed on their platform. I just, okay. I walked into that one, but <laughs> the rules in Iowa, I'm thinking of the states that I've worked for them. The rules in Iowa and what I have to do are different than what I can do in PA because certain things aren't allowed yet in Pennsylvania uh, that are different from what we did in Tennessee that were different from what we did in, I think I worked Carolina with them. No, that was before them. Um, I, uh, Michigan, I did one with them. Uh, so there's different rule sets, things, different compliance standards that they have to do. And maybe that is something like, hey, Defy wants to go to Pennsylvania. And the commi- you know, this, this alliance says, cool, you need to make sure you cross this, this, and this T, you know, to make sure this happens. Or, you know, hey, here's a license that this guy has that's part of the coalition that will allow you to rent it. You know, so you don't have to go just call up that local indie and hope that they're on the up and up right you know in in the area so and take that chance for something like that so like that's that's and and i think that's what gcw kind of does as it is when you see them team up with certain promotions there's probably a license involved um or whatever other logistics that need to happen for that place right or they have the venue or something like that something that smooths the gears for them to come into whatever state town you know municipality right so um well we got deep on that one so (laughs) Uh, and she is saying like collective would be an opportunity yes you know but i mean there's there's uh, problems with the collective you know the, you know or anything else where you try to bring a bunch of promotions together for, so for one reason or another on business you know it's very finicky and if somebody had the right you know somebody needs the right like idea and execution and i feel like a lot of people miss the ball on one part of that <laughs> that that topples that's the whole why thing that's why i included like effie and mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. uh cardona because they know how to work the system yeah yeah they know how to get the right people for the right job 
Yeah, or they they can maybe be the ones that kind of shout out the need for something like this, right? Like you know, so like who knows? You know, maybe that's the kind of thing that happens. So so, anyways, state of the wrestling business. <sighs> um, the, more of that will probably come out on the grievances part of the Festivus episode tomorrow night. <laughs> so, um, some of that should probably be Patreon. Uh, anyways, who do I got left here? I think everybody in person has been read through. Uh, Tony Kincaid put one in the chat earlier. Chess Flexer is going to burn down the damn Civic Center uh, to the ground by the end of the year. Oh, right. That is a Civic Center. Worthington Civic Center, isn't it? Um, mm-hmm. Well, I'm. Cl- I, we probably shouldn't have put that on paper. Mad One emails. WWE, the four horsewomen will be together in some match at one point. I would say that was a really good prediction until Charlotte got hurt last week and is out indefinitely. Uh, Cody will win the Rumble and film a Rocky-style promo for Mania with him running up the stairs to a statue of Dusty instead of the Rocky statue. I'd love to see it. NXT, someone from NXT will win a world championship on the main roster. There will be a tag tournament composed entirely of brother teams in AEW. I would love (laughs) to see it. Um, A former Impact Women's Champion will win gold in AEW. I think it's inevitable. TNA, the return of the Terror Dome or Dixieland matches. There you go. And maybe just, you know, for my my sake, a reverse battle royal, too, for for old time's sake. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say TNA? Yeah, TNA's back, dude. It's, yeah, it's still that's still a going concern. No, 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 yeah. no. Impact Wrestling is becoming TNA at the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. Okay. TNA, T- oh, yeah, they're going it. back to I the old know, naming. You you know TNA and then TNA actually turn into what? Impact Wrestling. GF. Yeah, they 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 turn into like Global Force gold, Wrestling. Global Force Wrestling. Uh, yep. Which then turned back into TNA, which mm-hmm. then turned back into Impact Wrestling, which is now turning back into TNA. Do you know? Do you know how many years in a row I predicted that TNA would cease to exist? And last, About like and, four. And, and last year at, was at the first four. you did it. I'm so mad. <clears throat> Not really. I listen. If people are getting paid, I'm happy. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. again, like TNA's been quiet. That's a good thing for TNA. Um. Mm-hmm. Well, they're TNA really is they, here forever. They're they forever. <laughs> oh, oh wait, well, there we go. Oh, 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 do that again. <laughs> do that again uh, with noise there, Lonnie, because we did not get that. Forever. Get louder. <laughs> forever. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Had to work around. Uh, that's another technical hey, thing I'm trying to fix in uh, 2024. <laughs> so. Um. Anyways, where are we at with things? Yeah, no, Impact has been really interesting because they've been doing like hidden gems episodes, and uh, they had something from Mexico City that they put out last uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe. Uh, so the best of like they're pretty much like they folded things for the year, have a bunch <laughs> of pre tapes, and then they're they're rolling out to do the TNA re relaunch with the pay per view, uh, Hard to Kill on January thirteenth. Oh, they certainly an, are. That is an interesting date isn't it hold on let me check my calendar real quick uh that is i think the same day as the new japan show yep okay i know what i'm doing that night uh somebody is double watching t- uh, uh wrestling that night anyways oh wait that the time zones will work out though anyways um what did i is that everything did i do all the things are we are we are we done? Is that what's no, happening? no, no, no. We have another segment, but I, I, lo- I lost all my stuff. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. And, and again, I'm going to take another uh, uh, scan and make sure I didn't miss anything here. Anybody else that might have chimed in here? Um, while, while I see going. wheels in the chat room. I'm trying to get him to say what his prediction is. Oh, was he here for the um, CM Punk to RWA prediction? <laughs> I'm uh, not sure. <laughs> he is very quiet. Uh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen because he knows something we don't. So, <laughs> um. Anyways, what the fuck? Um. What is um? Speaking of RWA, I was trying to figure out which Samoan was at RWA recently because I saw the clip and and I remember filming it, but I don't remember who it was. So, 
these. Oh, he's so. he's yep. predicting that a major star will be champion at R W A. A major. Well, Gangrel's coming on January, so. Fang and uh, banging. Wheel. He's coming on. He's coming all over January. Major star. <laughs> you heard it here first, y'all. Be champion in R W A. I feel like he shouldn't be able to do the prediction like that. <laughs> so <laughs> when I do a prediction about the promotions I I work for, they literally tell me nothing. I didn't know fire would be involved in either instance <laughs> this month. You know, I'm literally looking at the promo. I'm like, are we doing this? And they're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay, fire is a go. Um, so don't stop him. Uh, but anyways, <sighs> guys, you know, somebody that I'm th grateful for, thankful for wish them a merry christmas tonight our friends at uh slice on broadway new york city style yinzer may beachview carnegie they, east end in the north hills and so many places what they were just on uh wta this this evening oh, channel four for that evening. for that uh pizza thing they did they, they the entire hour was just dedicated to pizza oh jeez <laughs> and it was new york versus pittsburgh style and Ooh. honestly for the best new york slice Slice on Broadway. Oh, so good, so good. Feeding our people. We've we've been feeling uh, like a gaggle of kids here for Awesome Cast because uh, Kid Metal brings the kids and we just stick them in the back with an Xbox and do the show. Uh, I have so, a question. Yes. What is what is Pittsburgh style pizza? I swear to fuck if you say it has French fries on it. <laughs> no, I mean it can. It can have. French I mean, fries I think Fiori's is kind of a New York style but and, and everything. So it's like a mixture of New York, from what I heard from uh, the thing on. On uh, the news, according to the, the news, according to the news, and we know people at that station, so we can call it's them out. Like, it, it's like New York style, but the crust is fluffier. Hmm. Is oh, that... I'm into that. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's it slice. So I think that's a Fiori's. Then it's, that's a Fiori's. It, it, it's a slice feels more New York to me. Yes. Yeah. Very much. So. Uh, and, and when you go get the slice, it's like that giant slice. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. because you can get it by the slice at most other locations. So. Mm -hmm. The Ninja Turtle pizza. Uh, was it what, what? Slice has the Ninja Turtle pizza. Yes, yes, ah, yes, yeah. absolutely, yes. Just like on Splinter's head. <sighs> uh huh. Yes, yeah, see, we're the age in this show that most of us get that reference. We're that old. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're that old. We're Ninja Turtle original Ninja Turtles movie old. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, also, hey, since I didn't uh, get it in here, uh, also give a uh, please go check out IndieWrestling.us. You can see, well, does a does, can a beast man get caught on fire? Yes, that's the answer. Uh, but go watch it over at IndieWrestling.us, Indie Wrestling Network. Again, we have so many subscribers. Um, <laughs> we got subscribers coming out of our ears. No, we have more subscribers than we've ever had. Thank you to all of our partners, uh, VCW, RWA, 2PW, 880 Wrestling. Uh, it's been a phenomenal year with what's been happening on the network. So much buzz coming out of the promotions we've been working with uh 880 has been a great new partner with us this 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 year uh so thank you everybody that does work with us thank you everybody i have attempted this is a beautiful thing and i think the, the one guy might be in the chat room i have attempted to give free subscriptions to people just for a thank you for some of the things they do for supporting indie wrestling and they said no i want to support this and i was like that that pleases me and and very thankful for Aww. that so um and 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 i appreciate every one of you that do that uh so thank you because this is the thing we're trying to make it so this is a thing is sustainable and doesn't go away because you know so many things are so um um they go until they don't work anymore you know <laughs> in, in 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 independent professional wrestling especially right um so we're trying to make sure that is a thing that is is worth it for everybody involved uh and that's the one way that we we do that it's a big chunk of what we do here at sort at site with sidekick media services as well um there's a lot of different clients we could be working with instead of what we do on the weekends but uh it, it's it's very appreciated that we do have a fan base and it seems like we're on the right track with things and it seems like post covid we are back at it and building and uh and i'm really excited to see but I, and I feel like every promotion we work with is on a pretty good hot streak right now and growing and different and evolving. Um, I'm very excited for the bookers involved. I'm very excited for the new faces involved. I, I've, I can't remember the last time I've been this excited about a new class of students coming out of some of our promotions. Uh, so you, you've heard from a lot of them on this show, I know. Uh, so that's been really, really, really cool. So 
Um, and also, stay, pay, uh, remind me, remind me, keep me honest on this one. But on Patreon, I want to talk about some of my ideas for the new year. Uh, I'm scared about what's happening. What what I want to happen with the Mayhem show? Maybe with independent wrestling, uh, things like that. It's kind of the wish list. Maybe I'm just going to be the 2024 Mayhem wish list. Is what I'm going to do. Uh, for Patreon for you guys here after the show. It'll be news to some of you guys in, in the, on the Zoom call, actually. So, and then, you mean I want to get booked uh, in 2024? Can we get Ronnie booked in 2024? He showed up this weekend. I did. He got hit by a ladder and didn't I even did. get paid. No, it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even get a hot dog? I got a hot dog. Okay. Did we you get a handshake? We, we need I get didn't get a handshake, but I got one of the two, so... All right, all right. We, 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 we're gonna give you a raise to two hot dogs. Also, sir. lunchbox Hot Wheels says he loves you. Mm-hmm. Aw, Hot Wheels, I love you too, buddy. We need to get LB when you when you come back around here uh, sometime in the next year. We we need to do the indie wrestling tour with you. All right, for right, sure. We gotta get Absolutely. you back around to these guys. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and it actually, you need to pick a weekend because one of the beautiful things that happens, you know what, what I, what I learned <laughs> here's you know here's an additional. I want to start this thing off. I have a what I learned that I completely wrote out here. Um, but I'm going to add a what I learned. It is beautiful when wrestling companies work together. Speaking of coalitions, <laughs> okay, because uh, for the mm-hmm. most part, um, you know, whether well, some of them kind of grumble, but some they work together. I see, I see two PW sharing somebody else's training school and somebody else's posters and and promoters at each other's shows on each other's shows, helping with each other's shows. Um, like like and it, like everybody we like, um mostly nobody i work with grumbles about somebody else i work with okay <laughs> um the, it, we, i mean other than the general this fucking jackass which i mean i do too uh mm. but let's be because i mean <laughs> as i always say pro wrestling attracts a, a certain kind of personality and it doesn't always make sense or it's the one you want to deal with but everybody's here for the re- same reason and that's what brings all these all us, us all of us fucking maniacs together and that's what the beautiful thing about uh uh indie wrestling right the other thing i learned from indie wrestling i often say about this thing about it doesn't matter what level you on and the more and more is and i've worked on with different companies at different levels or talked with or know people that work in, with certain companies or or you know you know hear back from people that have gone to some of these companies um you know up to the big ones it just a lot of uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife's sending me texts about Impact Wrestling right now, and I'm very interested. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, on top, so I, I've often said it doesn't matter what level you're at. I believe this on production. I believe this on professional wrestling. I believe this in inter- entertainment in general for the most part. It doesn't matter what level you're on. You deal with the same bullshit. You know, uh, you same you you're same with the same organizational things, the same production things. It just sometimes you have more toys, sometimes you have more assets to be able to pull something out. You have more people to go to a task, but you're still dealing with the same problem, right? Um, that's that's been what I've learned, you know. Uh, and also kind of to spin off that, the biggest thing I learned, the thing that I actually wrote down, no one has pro wrestling figured out. We keep thinking like what draws money is the ultimate bar right uh but it's not just a name a match it can be an atmosphere of a place i believe so much in certain places your defies your enjoys your 880 wrestlings the atmosphere is what brings people in right and that's what attracts you and then maybe you fall in love with a reese hayes and follow his losing streak to the championship story mm-hmm. that would that happened this year right maybe if you know hey you know lb you remember we why we go to wrestling shows first they had they had Ricky Reyes that you told me about. They had Claudio Castagnoli that nobody heard of. Hey. They had they had hey, hey. Uh, they had they had the Samoa Joe would come in, and then we 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 learned to love the community, the the environment, the amazing crowd that would stand after every great match and applaud, which does not fucking happen anymore, and that bothers the shit out of me. It barely happens on these amazing shows that we see. Um and sorry, that's a little thing for me. Um, <laughs> but it it it's it's not just like bringing in a Matt Cardona that's gonna put a bunch of bunch of butts in seats. Mm-hmm. You know, are the like, seats comfortable? Um, many are just trying. You know, I'm I'm seeing the conversations with promoters. I'm seeing you know the conversations with 
different levels of wrestlers and and everybody's like why the fuck can't we just figure this out but the answer is nobody has figured it out everybody has an idea about how wrestling works and what promotes and what draws money from experience uh, and some people are new promoters that have been in wrestling for 10 years but they're new at promoting some people you know or <laughs> or are have been in wrestling so long that they don't think they understand what is working in wrestling now because they're too old school minded uh, self-admittedly um, I've had I've had I've had a couple people admit, admit that version of a thing to me this in this year um, and you've seen them on TV uh, the should haves and the must haves uh, the internet talks about in pro wrestling and the fans are talking about booking um, us on this show and say WWE should do this I don't understand why AEW isn't doing this um, man if you've been backstage at any wrestling show on any level um, what makes sense is not always what happens you know what I mean? And this even happens with AEW. When they were here in Pittsburgh, Tony Khan came out on stage and said this was a very hard week for injuries and sickness, right? COVID still bites and ca- takes out half your roster, and you got to figure out how to still put on a, a three, two, one and two-hour shows, right? Um, and that's difficult. That's difficult. You can have an entire plan. I don't know how many times, how many times there's been an entire card that gets rewritten the day of the show, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> Riz knows. <laughs> Riz knows it. Um, you mm-hmm. know, it, it, there's no guarantee. And, and actually, no, I, I, and I believe it's going to go pretty smoothly uh, uh, with history. But there's, you know, half the card could change because of one reason or another or illness or something. You know, I know there's a very big match that happened late last year that got wildly blown up because of, because of illness uh, and injuries. Um, and then that shifted, that shifted the, 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 how a company went. After that, because it's like, okay, how do we get back to square one from the storyline? Because we just blew up all, like three stories going into the, into the next year, um, things like that. So, um, you know, but the, we, you know, I just the armchair booking drives me nuts, you know, and and I think I think, you know, that is you know that is the part of that's part of my brain that gets turned off on social media, <laughs> and I, you shove that off and don't get involved in it, and and I do not, I don't. I try to. I hope that most of us uh, uh, can talk from experience and not from uh, uh, thinking we're Vince McMahon, all Vince McMahon, right? Just like I, there's a there's a show that came up um, from Fish Without Bait where he talked about um, kind of an expert mind versus uh, uh, not, you, you know, when it comes to like uh, uh, Steelers fans, <laughs> and 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 i understand all of us watching watching stuff enough to think we understand how things work but none of us have been backstage none of us have been in the locker room uh none of us have been you know maybe not even on the field you know so i just um just take a i just this is my mindfulness in as wrestling fandom uh, uh idea that i know i've preached several times on the show probably usually on the christmas episode anyways um, moving on yeah that that uh, one thing i'll say is like just from working and uh, as well as being a fan um wrestling is like ice cream Mm -hmm. you have your flavor you have what you want like but like we were we were just talking about uh the madman pano and (laughs) Uh, the Shadow, six nine, uh, Shadow six WX, nine. yes, hardcore. Yeah, Shadow six nine. WX. Um, I didn't know if that was going to fly. I honestly did not know if that was going to fly in West Virginia. And by the way, VCW has proven me wrong on bookings mm-hmm. at least three times. Where I'm like, I don't fucking know about this one, dude. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> like all, all I'm saying is, I know there are people who like. There is a lot of people who like deathmatch wrestling, mm-hmm. but. There are other people who don't. There are mm-hmm. other people who get entertained by other things, like like marching ants fighting fighting uh, fighting uh, Power Ranger hawks, or, <laughs> or 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 a John Cena match, or something technical. Like, or just Kaiju like, Big Battle. Yeah, Kaiju, Kaiju Big, Big Battle. Battle. <laughs> I there's a there's a one going on. There's a giant mascot fluffy suit guy getting getting uh, wrestling in Japan that's been flying the, around the internet. The panda? Is it the, the panda? It's not a panda. It's something else. Um, it, they had so many different. He did. I know. Narrow it down. I Ta- showed this to Titan. my wife, and she says, "Nope." I'm like, "Really? Are you? Are you this talking, is amazing." Are you talking about Chaitan? 
I don't know what the fuck a chai tan is. <laughs> I love, I love the mannequin or like the, the stuffed mannequin that wrestles everybody. But, the legend, I, I forgot yeah. their name is, but oh, yes, I, you yeah. know who I'm talking about. This I fucking thing. Yeah, well, yeah, not that, but this, 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 this is the thing I think I saw in the wrestling ring. Yes. There's there's a Baskin Robin there's a Baskin Robbins level of enjoyment for professional wrestling. I I just love Japan wrestling. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. I love everything about like it. Like this is just like a sight. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it looks like, a, it looks like they're doing hardcore. It's like is that guy bleeding in the corner? What the fuck? Jeez. The stuffed animals oh bleeding. Oh my in the god! Corner? This company better be a part of that new that new. Cool I, think I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Damn DDT. it, I'm here for it. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, by, by the way, everybody's invited to the Wrestle Kingdom uh, slumber party that's on the call right now, by the way. Uh, so, um, I will be sleeping in my bed. Oh, I, mean, I know. It's on a weekday, but I really just want us to, like, there's actually a slumber party at the studio. I'm definitely <laughs> taking it. What day did you say that was? I don't know. It's in the invite. Uh, you should have one already. If not, you will soon. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> hopefully I got the day right. Anyways, um, it is time. I have I have monopolized this, but I guess it's my show. Uh, uh, Lunchbox, what have you learned from wrestling this year? Um, it, it makes me feel, uh, really happy, um, kind of, uh, something that you talked about is, is, um, uh, groups working together, um, wrestling promotions, working together, sharing resources, sharing, um, sharing everything. And, um, this is, this is something that I haven't just learned from professional wrestling. This is, you know, I, I learned this in my life. This is something I used to end, uh, my podcast with. When I would uh, when I would record my own podcast, and it was uh, we're all in this together, mm-hmm. and that is more uh, more true now I think than ever is that we have to we have to uh, be together and we have to help each other um, help help people where you can lift others up, you know what I mean the the um, the idea of um, scarcity. Uh, what's that? There's a phrase for it, like artificial scarcity or something like that. It's, it's, you know, it's not true. There's room for both. There's room for both AEW and WWE. There's room for Impact Wrestling and and also um, uh, another example. God, I'm trying to blank. Uh, ROH. Kai, ROH. Kaiju Big Battle. Yeah, all of this mm-hmm. stuff. You know, and and I think. When people come together, uh, not just to compete with one another, because you can lift each other up through competition, but but actually sharing resources and helping people, and mm-hmm. and just we're all we're all out here just doing our best, man. We're all just we're all just people doing the best we can with what we have at the time, and the world's a uh, uh, a scary place. But we are all of us, and I mean globally, more connected than ever before, and we have an opportunity to to help each other out and lift each other up. And I think that's that's really important. I love seeing that um, that indie wrestling promotions are doing that kind of thing. I hope that continues in twenty twenty four and twenty twenty five. Um, uh, I. I, I <laughs> um listen i don't want to say uh, i i i know uh oftentimes the word uh union in professional wrestling is is a dirty word but a lot of organizations a lot of companies a lot of employees are unionizing and their lives are improving as a result mm-hmm. and that is that is just another example of if we all work together uh, we can lift each other up and uh, accomplish great things. So that's it. That's that's what I learned. We're all in this together. Merry Christmas to all. Merry. All oh, I wish that was. I wish that was the last thing we went through. Ronnie, <laughs> what is your heartwarming? What I learned. I mean, I just started singing High School Musical there for a okay, second. Okay, all right. Oh, that's <laughs> why I didn't like, get it. Okay. We're all in this together. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I liked High School Musical. Kiss my ass, everyone. Um, <laughs> Yo, I'm a Pitch Perfect fan. <laughs> Pitch Perfect's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, Clee. How 
how do you, how are you expecting me to follow DJ Launchbox? How are you, how do you expect me to follow that? Because everything he said is a hundred percent true. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's great that people are starting to work together now. You've seen the bullshit uh, in wrestling over twenty years. Oh God, I've seen much of it. I was regaling uh, your your uh, uh, Lionheart Chris Jericho figure story lately. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, there, there was just way too much dumb stuff over the years, and you know, wrestling's evolving for the better, and people's attitudes are evolving for the better, and I hope everybody just wants to help everybody. Because mm-hmm. Sorg, mm-hmm. I've told you a bunch of times, all I want to do is help people, mm-hmm. and that's what everybody should do. Mm-hmm. Like. The, these young kids need people to guide them to the future to be the future of this business. So uh, guys need to step up and help. And it's good to see that everybody's doing that. Big promotions are doing it. Indie promotions are doing it. And I, I'm going to, since the recent Godzilla movie was called Minus One, I'm going to call 2014 Professional Wrestling Minus One. And this is where, this is the year where everything changes. Is this is this is this the year where your war ends? <laughs> My war ended a long time ago. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, actually. If you get the movie, you know the reference. So, um, by the way, My Brazil minus one. Holy fuck, that's a good movie. Uh, it's it's Holy already in Grammy shit. nominations. So I have it's not already... enjoyed a subtitled movie that much since Night Watch. So, oh, it was so, it was good. so good. Um, <laughs> Anyways, yes, go 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 see it in a fucking theater, guys. Go mm-hmm. if you can. They're doing it in black and white now, by the way. Oh, oh, oh wow. my god! They're really seeing it in black and white. Oh, that reminds so me. Gonna... That reminds yeah. me. I gotta get Shin Godzilla. Uh, it's, it's like it's like five bucks on Amazon, by the way. Um, is it? It was. I got. Uh, hopefully, it still is. So, uh, but anyways, um, uh, uh, Riz. Yeah, I I should have learned this. A couple years ago, I, I and I, I'm gonna sound really weird following those two. Um, I learned that if a chair is thrown at your way, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> also, if a letter gets swung in your way, get the fuck out. <laughs> Both by the same person. Yes. <laughs> Beastman was trying to take us both out today, Riz. Mm-hmm. Or not today, but in well, general. Yeah, in general, because mine was like in august whenever i i did bcw the first time Mm -hmm. yeah um i should have learned should have learned my lesson when i did rwa that one time where the chair just hit the ring post right in front of me Mm -hmm. uh but yeah that's what i learned it's um but also you know it, it like everybody's been saying i kind of uh, the last, this last year has been pretty interesting. I, I gotta say, um, mm-hmm. my first two known battles with COVID, um, but all in all, it's been one of those things where, like, it still feels weird to me when, like, wrestlers actually know who you are, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like. Uh, like people that you've actually seen on like shows like uh, are, like i like just like it's it's a, working with like two t2t and uh, 880 uh and and uh, in production uh not as a wrestler because god forbid I'd, I'd make a horrible wrestler <laughs> um but knowing that you know that they know who I am. They know that they, they, that sometimes people actually want me to talk, like actually want me, my opinions on stuff. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Cause I don't like talking to people in the first place, but it's one of those things where it's, it's opened my eyes to other things in professional wrestling, like the production side, wrestler side, everything and it's it's one of those things where i'm never going to um i'm never going to know like i i don't want what am i trying to actually say on this one you're not going to be able to uh fathom yes yeah 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 like just the fathom the idea that that 
the person that might be on television soon knows who the fuck I am. Or if you went backstage, somebody might recognize you. As you the guy know. as the guy who interviewed RJ City and Dalton Castle that one time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know you've basically joined the wrestling family, right? Like you Yeah, I you're you're basically considered like a brother now. Yeah, to, to people. Somebody, that's, somebody had that conversation weird. with me several years ago, and I still have been hard. Yeah, like it's weird, I still, I still I'm... am hard to accept it, and I also don't want to openly accept it because I don't want to get a big wrestling head about it. Yeah, but, I don't, you're yeah. too yeah. modest, though, Sorgy. Like, yes, but you, you I also, I, mean? I also don't want to be some of the assholes that I see around wrestling. <laughs> that, exactly, that have no <laughs> business to be the way they are around wrestling. So, like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that guy. You know, but you're also, not you're just, not that guy though. That's yeah, the thing. yeah. Just the fact that you care about not being that guy means you're not that guy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also knowing that my name's now word of the year is really weird. Oh, geez. hell yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah. Riz, you are now my second favorite Riz, <laughs> next to the rat from Muppets. Oh well, yeah, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that's that's good uh, because I also was called uh, Rizzo. From Greece at one time. Oh, there's uh, three Rizzos. <laughs> well, you're you're still my second. That was RJ okay. that did that, wasn't oh, it? Oh, that was RJ and Dalton for that. Yeah, one, yes. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, Potter, follow that shit up. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to go a little negative, but not negative. But Uh-oh. let me just Uh-oh. say, um, in 2023, I think we all learned, even though she moves slowly. Karma can be a bitch. Jeez. And if you're trying to scheme to have your company bought out to make sure you're in power and you're kicking the your daughter and your son-in-law out, and all of a sudden, you don't have any power anymore. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful mm-hmm. thing. Lunchbox sure does like that karma. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yep. True. Tastes good. <laughs> Uh, uh wheels in the chat room yeah i learned i can almost uh die being pushed almost off the stage <laughs> did I, did I, I missed that, that one i missed that one i think it's after we leave so oh. i forget who, who i can't remember if anybody tried to assault him this this year um can but... people stop trying to kill wheels please yeah yeah stop it Oh my God! Yeah, another another we're, wheelchair. We're coming, we're coming back for we're coming back around because Necro Butcher used him as a weapon, or well, no? Wait, and, Jimmy DeMarco used him as a weapon. And Paul, well, somebody De- used somebody on Sunday as a weapon. Yeah, Pondo. Wait, wait. I have the picture right here. Actually, Pondo, mm-hmm. I, I, I believe, uh, attempted to decapitate somebody with a guy in a wheelchair, um, mm-hmm. laying on the floor. So, oh, is that the? Uh, oh, that guy. <laughs> Hold on a second. I got it right here. There you go. That happened. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, that's a oh, that's a different guy. Oh, that's a different guy. How many things happened yeah, there? Is isn't no, that no, the? That's the, is that that's the guy the that brings out uh, that's, that's being brought out by the one wrestler? No, not Kincaid. No, 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 no. no. Okay, no, 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 no. Kincaid. Uh, there's a uh, uh, oh sleazy E. Oh sleazy my god! E. Should yeah. I? He asked me for a clip and I never sent it to him like a month ago. Uh, you dick. Shit. shit. See? See? Now I'm that guy, Ronnie. God freaking damn it, Sorg. You know, uh, we're trying to put you over. I'm telling uh, you, you're a nice guy. And you don't send a guy a fucking clip? No. 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 <sighs> Unreal. I quit. <laughs> no, I I need, no, I need you this week, Riz. I need you this week. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, J Rock tried to kill him. Oh, oh, oh okay. I mean, that, that makes yeah, sense. That seems about right. Um, yeah, that's about right. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you for being part of this show. Thank you, Riz. Riz plays games. He does Twitch stuff. Time, time. Sometimes he's a word of the uh, I, I, I'll, I'll be back probably next year. I haven't been on as much this year. Dave Ponder. Yeah, Roth Prod everywhere except for um, um, TikTok, where I'm Roth Prod PGH. Did you gain more things on you, Dave? <laughs> no, they keep like coming uh, no, and I going. Think it, I think it just may be uh, more in frame. Maybe. I mean, okay. like, like he looks like the picture from Back to the Future half the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, Do- Mr. Uh, Stark. I don't feel good. I'm like, like Potter. Uh, Potter uh, looks like uh, one of us went back and accidentally fucked his mom in 1950. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, oh my, <laughs> hey now, Hi- hypothetically. Yeah, Hi- hypothetically. Hypo- hypothetically. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> You're starting to look like me a little bit there, buddy. There you go. Ronnie Starks, <laughs> he's still something in the wrestling business. Uh, I'm I'm here. Yeah, uh, yeah. A- am I taking bookings <laughs> in 2024? I don't know. You guys I don't know if you just show up in the back of the room with uh, your dad, Sean Patrick, uh, the, re- mm-hmm. the uh, eighth retired Sean Patrick. I made the sense of <laughs> I made the mistake of con- congratulating him on his first retirement. He's like, yeah, it's like our sixth. I just like, oh, I was like, I should have known better. <laughs> He's just taking like an office position, mm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. He's, probably, not, he's not leaving the business. He'll probably be refing mon- uh, well, on Friday. As I, I think I, I think I may, I can't, I think I offered him if he wants to start a podcast, let me know. <laughs> so <laughs> that'd be good. He has a lot I of got, stories. I got a couple people in wrestling. I offered a, a podcast uh, a helper. So, um, and and if they they did it, I yeah, I think it'd be very very good. Um, so especially one guy, uh, but anyways, um, you know, beast man had a podcast it would be, well, he'd never work in a business again, but, uh, <laughs> so, uh, and, and a lunchbox. Yes, sir. Make sure I got everybody else before I got to you. You're the last one. Thank you so much. Our yearly, our yearly, uh, uh rejoining. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I appreciate it. It really does mean a lot to me that. You know, I I go off and life life is crazy and and uh, but anytime I come back to the Mayhem show, you guys always welcome me with open arms, and that that really means a lot to me. Thank you I so much. Still here, look to be doing this as long as we can, and I and sometimes like two weeks ago, I was like, am I gonna still do this in 2024? I yeah, uh, that actually crossed my mind, but you know, is what we do. Is how we get together. Nine hundred. So how can you not? I know, yeah. right? I was like. Phew. I'm uh, I uh, I endeavor to at the very very least get to one thousand. You're with Endeavor now too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's getting signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, not everybody. Um, oh. guys, thank you so much. You have been an amazing mayhem audience. We're gonna gear up for mayhem mania. I should probably talk to the presider of that and make sure he's on the same page. Uh. uh <laughs> And oh, maybe Riz, and we'll have Riz do it this year. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next year. Unless you try to tune in the Patreon. Happy, happy, happy New happy. Year. Woo-hoo. STD Festivus Woo-hoo. special is 8 p.m. this Wednesday. And we'll be on, we'll be, uh, on all the feeds and our usual time slot uh, next Tuesday after your mayhem. Or after your after the mayhem that is after Christmas the mayhem, for you, probably. Your mayhem. Yes. Uh, so uh, go check all that out, and thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Uh, please go check out all the all the wrestling over your uh, week off. Maybe they're doing best of shows on on the big wrestling. It's a good time to catch up with things, whether it be us or other, everything, anything else. Watch more wrestling in 2024. And until then, thank you. Have a good. See you next year. Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.